This fortnight I've dug out a transcription that can be found in the closing pages of Richard Hoffman's 1883 publication, his Hornschiller. Um, now, Richard Hoffman was one of those characters who seems to have published lots and lots and lots of books on all sorts of instruments. Um, he had a very influential orchestration treatise. Um, and this, this work, it's very typical of its time in that it starts off with a lot of exercises for natural horn. Now, some people might find that um, a surprising concept that in the late 19th century, especially in Austro-Germanic circles, that there should be such an insistence on starting on the natural horn. Um, but this book, it starts with a, a potted history of the horn, and it offers up an opinion that was very common of the time, that the natural horn was the instrument that gave um, a player the true concept of the horn sound. And again, a very commonly held belief that adding valves to this instrument was somehow detrimental to the tone of the instrument. So that's why this book starts with lots and lots of exercises for the open harmonics. But it closes with um, this transcription of Tamino's aria, Die Bildnis is Beselbert Schön, um, from Mozart's Magic Flute. And like a lot of these other fortnightly um, little pieces, I've been looking at some early recordings of this aria. And it's the Moravian tenor Leo Slezak, who I'm trying to emulate um, on this occasion, there's a wonderful recording of him singing this aria from the 1920s. And it's a mixture, again, of his portamento and his rubato. Um, there's quite a lot of rhythmical and textual differences, actually, between what he's singing and Hoffman's transcription, so I've been having fun with that. And the instrument I've chosen might at first seem a really peculiar choice for late 19th century, um, sorry, late 19th century Germanic transcription of an Austrian work when I'm emulating a Moravian Czech Austrian uh, singer. So picking up this instrument, which is um, a Buzi and Co. Sotone instrument from probably the late 1923, um, that might seem a bit strange. Um, the reason I've done this is in the Hoffman book, he depicts a piston instrument, not a rotary instrument. Quite often we associate rotary or maybe Vienna valve instruments with Austro-Germanic repertoire of the late, late 19th century. But it's not entirely surprising to see a, a piston valve instrument in German sources, given that, of course, the earliest type of valve which emerged out of Germany in the early 19th century, the Sturzel valve, was a type of piston valve. So it's not strange to see a piston type instrument in a 1880s German book. So, yeah, that just gave me an excuse really to get this rather nice silver plated um, boozy out. This is in really remarkably Good Nick, it's a lovely instrument to play. So we have Richard Hoffman's transcription of Tamino's aria from Zalberflöte played on an instrument not dissimilar to the instrument seen in um, Hoffman's book um, a, a little later, this being a 1923 instrument. Um, I hope you're enjoying these videos um, as I kind of go through my collection of horns and my library of music. Do click to subscribe and then you can follow all the future episodes in this um, little adventure. Enjoy!